Hi guys, welcome back to SNT Networks. In today's interview question topic, scenario based interview question topic, we have another question. Right, so we are on the third part of the series. Before this, we have discussed uh, two another two questions. Right, so this would be the third one, and uh, we are moving more towards the practical side. All right. We are also going to be discussing uh, real life scenarios wherein users or uh, network administrators or uh, you know the tag team gets issues. Basically, uh, you know, if you're a firewall engineer, you might get issues like this definitely, or you might have also gotten issues like this in the past. So this is just a refresher, and uh, you know, uh, we will discuss all the possible uh, outcomes, all the possible troubleshooting skills. All, all the possible attempts to troubleshoot this plus we'll also discuss how do we start troubleshooting it so it's not just about the result it's about the flow so let's start so here in this uh, particular uh, video the question is you know, you're basically trying to access or uh, basically trying to fetch data from a server but you're not able to how would you troubleshoot this Okay, so let's start all the possible outcomes first. First of all, the very basic thing. So just consider you're trying to fetch data from A. I mean, you're trying to fetch data from A, right? Uh, no, we, we, let's just phrase it a bit better. You're a system, you're sitting at client A, right? And you're trying to fetch data from B. Okay, let's just say you're trying to fetch data from B or just to yeah okay simple now first thing first what you what you'll do in the first thing you'll check the basic connectivity if you're not able to fetch data either you're doing uh, you know via STPI or so basically are doing FTP what not so the first thing the first of all the very very first thing you'll do is check connectivity so for that what will you do you'll you'll basically ping okay so from a you'll ping B okay so when you do the pinging if this has a URL okay the first thing you'll do is ping second if this is a URL you'll check if the DNS is resolving properly if it's an IP address no need then you see the DNS query if the IP address is being resolved properly right then you'll see on client A itself you'll see the client configuration confat A you'll check the client configuration for you know correct IP subnet mask gateway DNS settings all of that right next so this is the first part this is again the connectivity part Okay, the basics. This is the first part. Now for the second part, you will try to dig a bit deeper. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll do a trace route. From here, you'll send a trace route packet for this particular server. And then you'll see that if you're getting packet, uh, you know, uh, if you're getting a response or not. By response, I mean you'll see where exactly is the packet doing. So if you do a trace route and see the packet is getting dropped at the firewall, then you will troubleshoot the firewall. Okay, you will see where exactly is the packet going. Okay, then, then you will see what well, any packet loss. Okay, either do a ping or MTR to check high latency or you know jitter values. So you will do a packet loss check. Another thing, important thing to keep in mind. As a as a basic network engineer would be, let me just rub this off first. Yeah, very important thing to keep in mind is you are trying to uh, you know fetch data from B. Okay, you are trying to ping B, A and C. Correct. Then uh, like you are trying to ping B. Correct. But you also try to check with other servers if they have the same issue with other servers or not. Okay. Like if you ping B, you're not able to ping B. Try to ping A and C also. Okay. Ping or fetch data A and C. Just to check if 
you know we could try to isolate the issue okay and if all three are in the same firewall rule acl everything then there could be an issue on the server end itself correct so this is how you isolate the issues moving on then you basically check one more thing because you're trying to fetch data <clears throat> okay so you just consider ftp you're using 20 or 21 whatever board you're using okay so now you'll also check if the port is being accessible so first you will do a port probe from you know uh, the client itself from here to here then you'll do a port probe from firewall also if it is passing then firewall is allowed but just to double check we do it at the firewall end also okay so what you do is you check the port probe or uh, port connectivity this is six point it shows you if the port is open or not then what do you do you take the firewall rules correct now since all the basic components are done all the basic components are done now what do you do what could be your next step so in this case your next step once again yeah in this case your next step would be to check if uh, how where exactly is the packet going if the packet is going from here to here and not passing from here or let's just say <coughs> since we're taking this in terms of firewall administrator right that is the reason we are bringing firewall uh, you know in the, in the initial stage itself but what exactly do you do you check if the packet is going out of a you do a wireshark here if it is going out of a yes it is going out of a then you reach the default gateway if it is going out of the default gateway all the firewall rules are passing then you come to the firewall end you do a hop by hop then if it is going out of here or not where exactly is the policies you check the firewall rules correct you check app rules let me just write it properly after you have checked the app rules what do you do you also check basically if uh, you know in the firewall itself what all policies are being applied so it's called policy trace trace tracer uh, n number of firewalls have a number of names correct now you will also ask the interviewer if there is any load balancer in between just imagine this is the diagram they've given you so this is the diagram that you have probed out of them you can also ask sir if, is there any load balancer in between if they say okay yeah, yeah uh, there, there is a load balancer then you move on to the load balancer part but but this particular question is this is the simple configuration okay now even after this you're not able to get the answer right what do you do you just take a packet capture like i told you hop by hop take a packet capture at all the devices you check it check the server itself also like you take a packet capture one two three and four or four with all four devices and you go hop by hop and then you see if the packet is also coming back <coughs> there could be a acl issue at the firewall and that only urine direction traffic is allowed when the traffic is coming back it is being blocked it could be one of the issues okay acl reverse mtu could be the issues where exactly you know packet is getting dropped okay for this interface uh, you know they have particular rules for particular MTUs, so because of that we are dropping packets okay so <clears throat> you could check that then you could also check the device health server device health will include all the devices okay either in relation to which uh, there's an issue with server b where it's the you know the number of usage is going high so it's not able to process then you can see uh, either the CPU, RAM, memory, or what, whatever of the firewall is also going high. So it's even this is not able to process packet properly, or there is an issue with the default gateway. Then you check the hardware issues, connections. Correct. So these are uh, some additional uh, things that you can check. And uh, yeah, so and then what you do is you basically narrow it down. So if you narrow it down to the firewall, that you know packets are going, but they're not coming back. It's getting stopped right here. So uh, in this case, what do you do? <clears throat> what you will do basically if the policy tracer would help 
but even in the end if policy tracer is not helping you correct then what can be done from your end would be just uh, you know if you have done uh, actually everything then you can raise a support ticket right and they'll definitely this is the process of troubleshooting as a network administrator then they'll definitely help you with that right there could be num uh, a pr or a no issue or something right they would help you with that so these are some of the issues and uh, if you narrow it down to the server end that there is an issue with the server it's not sending packets back everything is fine you know the device health is good everything is okay you are not able to fetch uh, get understand what exactly is the issue again uh, it's called a brahmastra but you can try to reboot the box once it it happens it happens so you can try to reboot the box once and uh, if if, if uh, it's not resolved then you can reach out to the server support end so these are some of the known issues that will definitely help you in an interview so uh, this was the third video uh, on uh, scenario based interview questions from uh, you know snt networks i hope you like it if there is any suggestion or any, you know anything else that could be issue or that could be one of the issues while you fetch data please let do let me know in comment box thank you